Yo guys, what's up? We've just arrived at AJ's Lounge in Hurricane. So yeah, we're gonna go in there in a bit and we're gonna check it out and show you guys what it's like in there. Jordan, what are you yes, expecting? Mate. So I'm expecting nice shisha. 100%. Nice pipes, nice seating. 100%. Nice heating. It's, nice it's, it's, hot anyway. it's hot anyway. It's hot anyway. I just hope that I enjoy it. Because mm. that's all that matters. So, so, no, worry, guys, I'm not recording and driving, by the way. I'm he is, stopped. He is, he no, no, I've stopped. Driving. I've stopped. All right, I've stopped. But <laughs> see you guys in the. Today we're at Aegis Lounge in High Wycombe. Um, very nice lounge, I must say. Uh, the flavour of shish that we ordered, um, they got quite some weird, wacky flavours here. I want to say weird or wacky, but like something I've not heard of before. I got uh, recommended by one of the gentlemen here to get this flavour. So I got, um, it's called Goat, greatest of all time. It's quite a nice flavour. And is it called AJ OG Great? I think it's called OG Great. Yeah, pardon me if I'm wrong. Um, so that's what we got. Uh, our friend Connor has got uh, what was it? Iron, Iron brew, brew, frozen lemon. Iron brew, frozen lemon. So that's quite a new flavor as well. This flavor here is not that bad. They're quite like new because I've I personally never had these flavors before. They're quite new. Um, it doesn't taste too bad, but it tastes more like a frozen watermelon and like a, it, it just imagine a better version of grape and mint. That's what I think it, it a, yeah. a, a sweet a sweeter version of grape and mint. That's what I like about it. And um, also the pipes, they're pretty sick as well. Like they've got um, the special carbine pipes that would like uh, colour at the bottom and stuff like that. And it looks sick. I can imagine this place in the evening it must look absolutely amazing. So uh, the prices of the shisha here that we paid is £20, I think. Yeah, yeah £20, £20. £20. £20 for a shisha. As well as we've got a beautiful Oreo Mose. for four pounds and you can't go wrong milkshake and shisha what do you think about it so far yes good uh, obviously because of lockdown they've uh, made a few changes so um, they're only doing premium flavors at the moment so they've got liali flavors and also they've got a couple of sovaco flavors price is 20 pound for liali 25 for sovaco so it's not too bad they said they're going to get uh, um, Ooh, I'll I'll We've got to understand before we come here as well, Jordan was quite upset that they didn't have double apple, but Very mate, the world still goes on. I, I prefer the Starbucks with flavours anyway, but there's Christian. What about what about everything else you've so far? Yeah, they're, they're very polite here. Yeah. Their customer service is really good. They didn't even know we were here. Like, <laughs> we, didn't tell them. we didn't tell them that we were actually here and we obviously told them afterwards. Another thing as well, the guy was like pop up pulling out the flavours, showing us, us like, smell, yeah, smell them and so like good. you know, but let us like choose a nice spot as well. He chose a nice booth there. Um, as we show you the lounge, it's, like, it's quite like a dark mode lounge, it's quite a lot of seeing it, but the booths are sick. For, um, it's like a rooftop lounge, it's, up, it's like upstairs, yeah, so it's, it's nice, they got nice. So, uh, the lounge in general is really good. Really good. Like, seating is nice, they got some nice lights in their mm. seating, table lights up, everything. So. I think this is a, kind of a nice place that you can bring new people, like yeah, yeah, yeah. new shisha smokers. New to shisha smokers. Because it's quite like, it's very welcoming, it's very warm in here and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's chilled, like, it's not like, I don't know, it's not like, how can I explain? It's not like your local lounge. It's not like your local lounge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you little come out, but like one of them dark ones with that like, water dripping spies and shit like that. But um, it's very and nice, man. I, I, I must say, yeah, I must say. Nice. Plus, they've got TVs up here as well. That's important yeah, for they me. Show, they show their football and stuff. Show their football, so that's a really important thing, man. But, but yeah, so we're gonna get to smoke and we'll catch you in a bit.
Yo, what's up, guys? So, we have the owner of uh, AJ's Lounge here, Aruj. Aruj, would you like to just introduce yourself a bit? My name is Aruj. I'm actually part owner of AJ's. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> no worries. There's two of us. My business partner is Ayeth. Um, so, we, we, own, uh, we own AJ's. Yeah, perfect. Welcome. So, we're going to ask them a couple of questions about the lounge and itself. So, first of all, how long has AJ's Lounge been around for? We have been around for coming into our fourth year now. Oh, wow. It's our fourth year. Four years, four years. Um, Jordan? Um, I'd say if a, say if a customer comes that doesn't really smoke shisha a lot, what flavour would you recommend? So you're saying they don't smoke shisha a lot, we always try and gauge what the customer has had in the past. Okay. So it sets, a, it sets an expectation of them uh, for, for us to show them what we have to offer for argument's sake. Uh, you came in for example as a new customer and you said I've smoked mm -hmm. double up in the past. As you guys can imagine how easy is that to yeah. say, wow, if that's your that's your expectation yeah, of a shisha, you throw some premium flavours at them, use a good, uh, well-known combination, you know something that doesn't feel like iron brew and skills, mm -hmm. show them what, what we have to offer, obviously we, we offer, I don't know if you can say in the shop, we offer uh, all of our shishas in the Starburst carbine, um, we don't charge you anything extra for it, we believe that if you're smoking a premium tobacco, you should be getting it in a premium product, I, I personally don't understand the concept of other lounges charging you for the privilege of smoking a shisha, because the reality is, you put the same flavor in there, it's the exactly. same amount of flavor in the head, your setup is exactly the same, so why not give your customers a premium product? Amen to that. Another quite a uh, crucial question I've got to ask as well, um, obviously since the, this global pandemic has been going on, etc., what uh, measures and changes have you put in place since reopening? So, obviously, as you guys know, when the government made the announcement, they said with uh, cafes and restaurants, you can reduce your um, social distancing to okay. one meter. Okay. We uh, are quite fortunate, we've got a lot of room in here, so what we did is we stuck to two meters to make sure customers feel that safety. Okay, as you guys good. will see, as you walked in, we put some yeah, yeah. Uh, signage in place to make sure everyone's awesome. comfortable. You guys may have noticed that some customers left while you were in here, that every area is wiped down straight okay, away yeah, to make sure percent. it's comfortable. The most annoying thing we've done so far is the cleaning of the shishas. Yeah. So obviously you have to understand, yes people will say we've got a disposable mm. pipe for you, but are you trusting us mm. in providing you with a clean shisha? Mm. Because let's be honest with you, with, with your breath going through this, mm. it's, it's not just ending at a disposable pipe, yeah, yeah, that's true. it's possibly that's true. going into the shisha in that, in that sense mm. as well. So what we've done is we invest in a steam machine. So obviously mm. once the shisha goes, goes into the kitchen, mm. you're disinfecting it, we've got about two or three products, the different ones that we're using ourselves and then uh, you clear it through with warm water and then we will make sure that it's steamed through because the theory you will have heard of is that at a certain temperature the virus is, is killed yeah, off. Killed, yeah, yeah, so in the past we were always we were always using soap and things like that but yeah. now we've increased Opera, the cleaning process to make yeah. sure because one thing that you notice is you got, you got given a, a Starbucks pipe, yeah. the one that actually goes with the yeah. shisha. And the reason we, what we do is we put steam through this and disinfect mm. it through this yeah, as well. Yeah, because time. the theory is with the disposable pipe, you don't get the true feel of the smoke of something like this unless you're using the right equipment that goes with it. So that's one thing we've done as well is we make yeah, sure everything is fully clean before you guys come in here and ready to use. One thing I've got to mention as well before we come here, like everything, this lounge is a very clean place, like especially with the obviously government guidelines etc being, being, being forced. They've, they've got hand sanitizer on most tables, they've got hand sanitizer as you come in. So well done to the team that's what I've got to say thanks for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Stuff. Um, another question I would like to ask as well, what do you offer the other land you With me, you don't need to start a business. Yeah. You always have an idea of what you want to do. 100%. People always think the end result is money. 100%. Don't get me wrong, that's what, that's what we're in it for. But yeah. ultimately, for us, it was a hobby. When we first opened up, it was a hobby. is that we smoke ourselves. Mm -hmm. We want to try and give everyone else an experience of um, a home smoke. Do you know when you go to a restaurant, you, you choose a restaurant, you choose a meal, you're like, do you know what, I really, really enjoy yeah, this. This reminds yeah. me of something like yeah, a childhood yeah, yeah, meal yeah. or something. Yeah. So our theory was, people always talk about home style food. I said, the amount of effort we put into a shisha or making at home, you clean it, prep your head, yeah. you sit down and then you take that 100%. first bowl. Our, our theory on that was we want to give that to customers as well. Do you know what I mean? You walk in, there's a friendly environment, because obviously you've met, you've met Itchy and that's it. Yeah. So we want to we wanna give that experience of where you're sitting down, you can say, do you know what? This is as good as I would make it. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, actually so enjoying it. For the customers, yeah. yeah that, that's no. always been the thing we've started from day dot, which was to provide you with a, 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 good, a good experience. experience. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I try to hopefully we achieve that in terms of 
Do you know you go to some lounges, you, you they give you a shoe shirt, they drop the calls and they're gone. Mm. You don't see anyone for the rest of your that's session that's in there, whether true. someone's coming over to see if your shisha okay, or the call's okay, is anything that you need. Yeah. Um, we we yeah, try to stay on top of that all the time and um, I think um, I'm thankful that we, we get our return customers based on that. People actually yeah, enjoy the experience in here, yeah. the smoke, everything all comes in. When we opened up, um, we, we opened up garden furniture like a lot of places do. Uh, mm. We mm. have wicker furniture. Did you have this place here when you opened yep. up? So okay, we did. So we, actually, sh we actually shortened the place down initially when we opened it up because oh, we thought okay. it's, it's a very large space. Are we going to be able to fill it up? Fill up yeah. But again, I'll say thank God that in a very short period of time, we had to look at the surface area again, mm. reopen up, look That's at getting good, more man. furniture in and giving the customers what they need. Obviously, we, we started out as a humble beginning with garden yeah. furniture and then yeah. over the years, if you go through our social media, you'll yeah. see where we started 100%. to where we've tried to bring this yeah. to. We're, we're obviously in High Wycombe, it's not, yeah. it's not a major place, town really, in yeah. that sense. Yeah, but, but we people thought, are, there's, a, there's a university town, there's lots of people are around. So. Give someone, we first concentrated on our shishas, once we thought we had that mm. right, we then sort of concentrated on let's give a little bit of ambience to yeah, customers so they've got something to look at yeah, when, they, when they come in. So yeah, I can definitely agree with that because the shisha here is taken care of as well as to provide a good entertainment element. You've got the nice lights, music, you've got uh, TVs. Uh, TVs and stuff to show football and stuff, and then even the, uh, um, what do you call it again, fire things? The, the yes. Yeah, so you've got that to keep your warm. And I'll be generous, this is all feedback from customers. Yeah. So the, the biggest thing I appreciate is on the customer business and constructive criticism. Yeah. You've got to be willing to learn and evolve with what customers are looking for. Yeah. Now Nowadays, we're, we're just, as I mentioned, we're, we're starting to look into uh, other shishas as well. So we bought in what we classified as a premium shisha. Mm -hmm. um, we are now moving on to see different heads uh, using different flavors, yeah, using different shisha kind of combinations. Yeah. And we're currently discussing at the moment, what we do is we don't bring anything in here until we've tried, tried it. it yeah. fully. We need good, to man. see how it works in the commercial oh, environment. Oh, it's so. different smoking at home, but it's different when you're sitting in here. We need to know that what we're feeling at home, for argument's sake, is the same experience you as a customer will get in terms of in the lounge. So we're currently experimenting with some new shishas, so hopefully, so, fingers yeah. crossed, there's a little bit of issue with deliveries at the moment yeah, with yeah, COVID yeah. going on. So yeah. as long as everything goes according to plan within the next month or two months at a push, We'll start to introduce mm. more flavors, a bit more. There's a lot of upcoming brands as well at the yeah. moment that are coming out. So we, we want to introduce that as a, a as a premium lounge, mm. as a premium tobacco, as a premium product, uh, and just live up to customers' expectations as they as they come through. Yeah. Right. And one so, thing I've got to mention as well on that as well, like you know, from a shisha lounge perspective and a business perspective, people we are more uh, concerned about what the customers want, what what experiences and that's important hence why we've had a good experience here. Yeah. Jordan's had a good experience here and also these guys have done a fantastic job to provide it so I must say thank you very much for uh, providing a great uh, experience here and stuff and I'll definitely be coming through here again and yeah so All the welcome yeah, time, lovely thank you very much take care guys yes guys so we just finished up at AJ's lounge it was it was good Very good, good smoke. experience yeah, not gonna lie I would definitely recommend to go there guys hope you guys um, enjoyed it yourself watching but yeah, definitely check it out, man. It's nice, and it's not too far from yeah. the centre. Literally, like five minute walk from centre. I look in centre, obviously. Also, we're gonna put um, the Instagram and all the details in the description. So if you do want to check them out, just give them a little click. Yeah, hundred percent. So thank you, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, yeah. and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.